covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. A security shocker out of Microsoft as it has been revealed that 250 million customer records have been exposed online. I feel like this is a face palm moment. We really don't intend for the news to be all about Microsoft, but this week has been a doozy. There's the Internet Explorer zero-day vulnerability that's being actively exploited, yet Microsoft has, hasn't issued a patch for. That revelation came just days after the U.S. government issued a critical alert to Windows users concerning the extraordinarily serious curveball crypto vulnerability. And now this, 250 million Microsoft customer records spanning an incredible 14 years in all have been exposed online in a database with no password protection. Wow. The data was accessible to anyone with a web browser who stumbled across the databases. According to the report issued by the security researcher team at Comparatech, no authentication at all was required to access them. The nature of the data appears to be that, mu that much of the personally identifiable information that was redacted. However, the researchers say that many contain plain text data, including customer email addresses, IP addresses, geographical locations, descriptions of customer service and support claims, cases, Microsoft support agent emails, case numbers and resolutions, and internal notes that had been marked as confidential. Hmm. While this may seem like no big deal considering the number of breaches, many of which affecting even more users. The thing to consider here is that Microsoft support scams are already rampant, and it doesn't take a genius to work out how valuable actual customer information could be to the fraudsters carrying out such attacks. And it puts users at a severe disadvantage and risk of being exploited by someone pretending to be the very company they trust. Microsoft Security Response Center posted a response dated January 22nd, 2020. In that post, they confirmed that the exposure of the database started on December 5th, 2019 as a result of misconfigured security rules and was fixed on December 31st. It's not known at this point if the databases were accessed, but it seems very, very likely. Since White Hat security researchers picked up on the issue and even replicated its data to their own servers, it's very likely bad actors also got their hands on it. <sighs> very, just yet another. Yeah. Yeah. Just another. It's what is going on at like, Microsoft? Well, yeah, I'm sitting here going like, what do you say? It's like. Yeah. <sighs> it's that's a disheartening story so i guess what it comes down to is the, the only thing we can say i mean uh, sure you're face palming i'm disgusted mm -hmm. you as as potential victims need to understand that you just need to be very very conscious that this has happened mm -hmm. yep. you have to be very conscious that phishing scams and now spear phishing scams exist so yes. these are now they have your information you have a microsoft account right you've contacted their support or activated software so now somebody can call you and say i'm calling from microsoft and uh i've got yeah, your case number here and blah, blah, blah. And I've got enough evidence on this piece of paper to be able to prove to you that I am who I right. say I am. Right. Yeah, Just like the last time we spoke when we mm -hmm. offered you this and this and yeah. this. Remember I'm, that? Yeah. Yeah. Remember the time that you called just a couple of weeks ago and we talked about this and that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, we just found out that there's another exploit, and so I need to remote into your computer to fix that for you. Exactly. So all of a sudden, there's this... Okay, wait, 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 hold up. So here's what you need to do. Hang up the phone. Yes. Okay. Microsoft does not phone its users. Mm -hmm. Microsoft will not offer you support. That's not the industry that they are in. That's right. That's not how they work. Mm -hmm. And so just understand that. And maybe if you just at least are, at least make yourself critical enough to be able to say, Microsoft does not offer this service. Mm -hmm. If you can just say that to yourself, then maybe that's enough to protect you. Mm 
so that when that call comes in or when that email comes in, that you just don't click it. And remember, right. last week we learned as well. Last week we learned that a new form of cookie attack is allowing um, hackers to compromise PayPal accounts just by you clicking on a link that takes you to a site that creates the session. And then you can close that and come back to it two weeks later and log into the legitimate paypal.com website and boom, they've got your information. So we yep. know that if you just fall for it enough to click the link, they could have put something on your computer yeah. that's enough to get you next time. So even if you don't fall for it this time, maybe you click the link and you don't give them your information, but you clicked mm -hmm. the link. Don't click the link. Right. Stop yourself at that point and realize Microsoft doesn't offer this service. I am not going to click a link in an email that says log into my Microsoft account or any Microsoft service. So yeah. understand that's Office 365, that's Exchange, that's that's your, um, like your, um, what is it? Microsoft Online Even services, Xbox. Whatever, Xbox like, 360 Online or whatever. All, all that Xbox stuff. Online. Yeah, all that stuff. Uh, Microsoft Online account for, for your Minecraft and, and like all these things. Mm-hmm. You're compromised. Yep. So don't trust anything that comes in now. Period. Yes. And that, that's, that's, a, that's a blanket statement. Don't trust anything now. You have to decide. You have to go to your bank website and log in correctly. Mm -hmm. You don't yep. ever, don't ever click a link that takes you there. Never. Never. Don't Google it. Don't search it in Bing. Don't, don't type it in the search. Don't type your bank's name in the search and click the first link on the results. No, you type in oh, your... Do people do that? Do people, people do, do that. that. Uh, yeah. And those same hurts. people get compromised. Yeah.